Suzanne, what are you doing Thanks. down here at the moment? I've just come here to be here. I got homesick for the first time in, in a long time. I just wanted to come home. So um, I'm very happy. I got to be part of this New Zealand Fashion Week and the build-up and wear these incredible Zambezi clothes, which I own quite a lot of anyway. Is Zambezi your favourite designer? Uh, yes. Oh, one of them, yes. Yeah, very much so. And Karen Walker, um, Liz Mitchell. They seem to make things for my body types. Yeah. Is it a case of when you're overseas on red carpets or attending events in LA, um, did you prefer to wear New Zealand fashion in situations like that? I really do now. I really prefer, prefer to wear New Zealand because it's the designers that uh, I relate to cut things so beautifully and it's all about the fabric and they're very classic. Everything goes together. Um, also, it's a good way of like updating your look without trying to look like a hoochie mama. You know, I'm not trying to look like an 18-year-old. I don't want that. I don't want to wear hot pants. I don't want to wear midriffs. I don't. Um, but you can wear things that are incredibly elegant and and a touch avant-garde. That's what I like about New Zealand fashion. It's closer to London than um, than America. You know, I think it's it's edgier. It's very unique and, and cool. Do we have a good reputation? Do you find people know the designers you're wearing more now? People do not know our designs, and I'm going to make that my mission while I'm over there. Um, I actually wore a Zambezi gown in a photo shoot in New York last week, and people can't believe it. You know, you when you wear them, they notice the clothes are so understated sometimes, but people always notice them because they have an extraordinary cut and, and fall beautifully on your body. So um, I think New Zealand is... Uh, is it's the new flavour of the month? Honestly, people, you know, Eagle and Shark and, yeah. uh, is is really helping in America. It's a big. It, it's the uniqueness of our um, personality, the sense of humour that goes into all our products. Um, there's something charming. I think New Zealand can relax now and just, you know, our whole lives. I've, uh, my whole life, New Zealanders have been going, we're just as good, we're just as good, and now it's time for us to go. Oh, you know what? We really are just as good. We can totally relax do our thing and enjoy our uniqueness it, and the world is really appreciating it so I think our time has come. Now a bit of a catch up with you as well, you're obviously your swimming career is starting to take off. Oh yeah, you're still like getting the sexiest mama just about everywhere, what's, what's the key to it? I mean you, you're just the sexiest mama? Yeah, I just saw your name oh, on the top of the list recently, it's, it's, I mean you just get oh, something. Yeah, huh. sexier and sexier. The thing, the thing is something, but you've moved well on from that now, I mean we've, we've had stuff when you had your first um, outing in LA for your first two shows. Oh you did? Yeah, yeah. yeah. that was amazing. Oh, yeah. That was very fun. But you know, every time I get back on the stage now, um, every time you learn so much more about showmanship and producing and, and that sort of thing. So every show is gets exponentially better, and um, I've really uh, kicked my demons in the guts. You know, finally performing is is really joyous and not a nightmare for me. Um, what as sort of like demons did you have to kick oh, I was the always um, I was always very loved to sing as a teenager, but after that it became a hot show for me. And I never quite lived up to my potential, and now I'm, I'm like, I'm just digging it. It's so, it's so easy because I don't care anymore. It's all about um, having a great time, and people seem to really respond to that. Now, have you teamed up with um, Paulie Dunwoolin to do it? I did a did a song with Paulie. It's, it's like every time I come to New Zealand, people say, "Oh, Liz, will you do this? Will you do that?" And I'm like, "No, swear I can." You know, I'm sort of much freer to help people out yeah. when I'm here. Um, so I don't know how these things will happen, but I just kind of keep saying yes, and little doors open. You were going to do a little bit of Curb Your Enthusiasm, I think. I did do Curb Your Enthusiasm. Oh, okay. It was awesome. <laughs> it was awesome. I got to uh, uh, we got to ad lib quite a lot. Do so. like it. I love it. It's a little bit like theatre sports working on a show like Curb Your Enthusiasm. It's very, um, it's, it's loosely scripted and Larry is the final arbiter of every scene. But um, uh, I got to bring a, a, a unique, I got to bring a gag to the show and I'm really thrilled about that. Oh, I hope you get it done here pretty soon. And what are you up to? I think you were doing a pilot or a, or another TV show. You were about I to did, I did. Battle a, Star Galactica. I did a pilot of, I did Battlestar Galactica and then I went and did a pilot which was much belly who kind of, this is sure to go and it was kind of killed at the end because um, it was about, it was Footballers Wives, have you seen the British show? Yeah, yeah. Well they were sure. doing the American version of that but um, they're they're a little bit more protective of their footballers' images. Right. Let's just say it that way. So, so was it football, football, soccer, or was it football, football American? Right. Oh, yes, I can imagine. Oh, what a shame. Yeah, but you know what? 
I'm okay with it now, yeah. <laughs> I'm okay. I feel like uh, it was never going to be live up to the British potential for a scallywag yeah. nonsense, you know, because everything's very controlled in, in the network environment. So, um, so yeah, it's best that it yeah, go to cable or something and live up to its potential. So what's next up for you in the next couple of months? I don't know. I'm, I'm writing a lot now, so um, it's another great thing about coming home. Somehow creativity kind of falls out of you. So um, I, I think that's why all these guys keep coming back in the Sam Neill and uh, you know, all, all those guys could live anywhere in the world, but um, uh, you just don't leave New Zealand for long. Something, uh, I don't know, inspiration happens here. Maybe it's been home. Oh, something about the, the, the earth here. But it's good to have you back. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Very much. Absolutely gorgeous. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, New Zealand Fashion Week is still months away, but the wardrobe doors already ajar. Kate Roger got a peek inside, discovered that this year the big names include Keisha Castle Hughes and Lucy Lawless, but she had to get up awfully early. The tranquility of an early winter sunrise outside the Auckland Museum, but hustle and bustle inside where the stars were just coming out. And the makeup artists were working up their own designs. In New Zealand Fashion Week really is a lot about design in all sorts of genres now and uh, Shelley McRae who's designing the venue wants to have a mural wall of um, people who are well known uh, at Fashion Week so that's what we've done today. I've always had involvement in New Zealand Fashion Week and then this year they approached me and asked me if I wanted to be a part of the mural and I said yes because they've always been a great support to me. As a new mum Keisha Castle Hughes is used to getting up before dawn and for a change she was the one being fussed over. But for her daughter Felicity, it was all just a bit of a yawn. And in between hair, makeup, and posing for the cameras, there was still the morning feed to be done. Yeah, I love being a mum, and she's seven and a half weeks now, and it's just amazing. And she's a real daddy's girl. I don't know whether I have to be happy about that or not, though. Also down under for today's shoot is Lucy Lawless. And for both actresses, wearing New Zealand designers on the red carpet's important. People do not know our designers, and I'm going to make that my mission while I'm over there. Um, I actually wore a Zambezi gown in a photo shoot in New York last week. I always wear New Zealand designers and I think like, we've got such amazing designers here in this country and you know why not showcase them to the world. It wasn't just a chick thing today. The boys were also getting amongst the Fashion Week vibe. I'm in Nom D actually. I think it's spring summer. Spring summer. And some petticoats around my neck. Do so you normally wear women's petticoats around your neck, Shelton? No, not for a while. Yeah. Others will be added over the coming weeks, including all black pin-up boy Dan Carter, before the photo becomes a mural at New Zealand Fashion Week in September. Kate Roger, 3 News.